Today on Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day, it's how to safely use a mandolin. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're going to learn how to safely use a mandolin. What is a mandolin? Is that one of those little uh, ancient guitar -y thingies? No. Well, yes, but no. This is a mandolin. This is a great tool to have in your kitchen. There are many different types you can get. This is the type that I like. Now, it's used for slicing, making waffle cuts, julianning. The best thing about this is it gives you consistent cuts. Now, sometimes you'll hear it called a mandolin, which has one blade across. Sometimes you'll hear a V-slicer, which has two blades in a V. They're about the same. I prefer this type. I find you get a better, easier cut with it. Now, there are different types. Sometimes they're just flat like this. You see them on TV. And the chefs sometimes hold them up and slice like this. Don't ever do that. Sometimes they'll put them on a bowl and slice. And that's a little safer. I like this kind with a little foot on it that I can have on my board. If I'm doing a lot, I can put the foot down and put it on top of a bowl, but I really rarely do that. I like it this way. It's very sturdy. It's probably not going to slip around too much, if at all. So what would I use it for? Well, when you're doing a lot of slicing and you want things to be consistent, that's the trick to a mandolin. and that is the key. Now, this mandolin, has a little knob and you can adjust the thickness here just like that this top part collapses and then it on the blade stays stationary so you get a consistent slice you can also go down here and these little teeth pop up to give you a julienne which is kind of like little matchsticks this is a little fancier one there's a straight blade and there's a crinkle cut blade. So if you're like me, you like Ridge's potato chips. That's what you get. Now this is very, very sharp. So you want to be careful using it. So when you're not using it, turn it back to zero. And that brings this part up. Even with the blade, you won't get cut. So now we're ready to slice. You see chefs on TV, they grab something, they start slicing. Don't do it like this. Don't just use your hand. Comes with a guard. The guard has little grippers on it. And if you push, there's a plunger and there's spikes on it to hold whatever it is you're slicing. So let me demonstrate. Just like that, there's my sweet potato in my guard. Now I'm gonna turn this down about there put it on hold it steady with this hand and just run it back and forth and that's how sharp that blade is even something hard like a sweet potato slices right through it and you can go pretty fast with it now look what I get I get slices that are all exactly the same thickness why do I want that? Well, that's going to help everything cook consistently, whether I'm doing a gratin like scalloped potatoes, or maybe I want to make these into chips and fry them. They're all going to cook the same. Now, like I said, you can get fancy. You can switch this over. And there we go. Crinkly cut chips. So you can cut this, adjust it to be thick or thin as you'd like, but the key is it's all going to be uniform, and that is the key to using a mandolin. But promise me, you'll always use the guard. Every year, especially the holidays, one of my friends will invite us over and they have a V-slicer or a mandolin, and they start showing off, and they slip, and then it's a trip to the hospital. That's no fun on Thanksgiving Day. Seriously, use the guard. That is how you use a mandolin. 
Now I'll leave a couple of links for a basic one and a fancier one in the video description section on YouTube and of course up on our website. Okay guys, if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now, as always, we'll see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for our basic skills day. So until next time, remember you're all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.